So the Caribbean is a very vulnerable region because of uh, uh, climate change, hurricanes, earthquakes. Uh, of course, uh, during COVID, we had uh, sustainable uh, tourism. You know, the, the fact to, to sustain tourism was uh, very complicated also. Uh, so in fact, I would say that the SDG number 13, climate change, uh, is one of the uh, most important SDGs. And we have uh, uh, different uh, initiatives uh, like the Climate Smart Institute of the University of the West Indies. Um, so our members are really uh, organizing initiatives to find solutions um, to uh, climate change. And of course, we also have a number uh, of uh, uh, climate refugees. Uh, so this is also a question which is very important. So I would say SDG number 13. Another SDG that I would uh, underline and uh, as a very important for the Caribbean region is uh, SDG number five, which is uh, gender equality, because um, the discrepancies between men and women are very visible uh, in the Caribbean. Uh, domestic violence, the rate uh, is very high, and uh, uh, women, uh, the positions of women in, in leadership, uh, developing female leadership, entrepreneurship, uh, this is the role of universities to make space for women to have their voices heard and uh, I would mention the initiatives of uh, the AUF, uh, Agence Universitaire de la Francophonie, with a website on uh, focusing on uh, women of African descent uh, in the Americas. So because in the Caribbean we have diversity within women as well, indigenous, African, Indian, Asian uh, women. Um, so that's very important to be gender inclusive and you know, to include gender, race, uh, culture in general. Collaboration is fundamental uh, in uh, implementing the SDGs and, and in fact all SDGs matter. Um, collaboration between uh, the universities and the industries, the universities and uh, the governments and the universities and the communities because in fact uh, universities are not meant to serve themselves, they, they serve their communities. So collaboration with different um, development agencies, different stakeholders, uh, different uh, partners uh, in the north-south as well as the south-south col collaboration. Uh, this is very fundamental in uh, uh, finding solutions for the development of the Caribbean region. Obrea Global is, is giving the Caribbean a platform through the Caribbean chapter, choosing to have the Caribbean voice as the wider Caribbean within a chapter chaired by Universities Caribbean uh, is already uh, giving us a space uh, to connect with other parts of the world. In fact, we have projects uh, to connect with the Indian chapter, with the African chapter, of course, with the European chapter. So Obreal Global is, is definitely uh, offering us uh, the opportunities to um, collaborate, to boost our collaborations and to build projects. Uh, in fact, we're working at the moment on a One Caribbean Solutions project, which is about finding solutions uh, for the Caribbean region and connecting those solutions to uh, the development of employability and entrepreneurship among Caribbean youth. Because what matters is really uh, uh, giving uh, space to the development of the Caribbean youth, our students who are the future leaders of the Caribbean region.